Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. In this one, I'm going to talk about a movie ticket booking application which has been developed through Django. And this is how the home page of the application looks like. Now it's a mobile compatible application as you can see, right? And then the data which you can see on the front end is coming from the back end. So these images and all the information uh, here on the front end is saved in different tables present in the back end. And from there, the information is getting populated on the front end by Django. Okay, now uh, if you want to book a ticket, how you can do it through this application? Let me show you that. So you can click on any of the images. It will take you to another page where, uh, you know, you will see the uh, information about the movie. You can check the release date. You can check the ratings and then, uh, you know, lead cast. And if you want to see the trailer of the movie, you can click this, uh, you know, link. And it will open for you a video on YouTube, right? Uh, which is uh, a relevant video means you know, it's a trailer video which you can see. Then uh, we have this book now option present at the bottom, which if you will click, it will redirect you to a page like this where you can, you know, fill the information. So for now, I am filling some random details. And you know, this is how you can book the ticket and that's what you're going to see finally as the, uh, you know, success message. Right now, if you want to go back to the home page, you can click this hyperlink and it will take you back to the home page of the application. So it's a very basic application and uh, the people who have just started learning Django, they can definitely use the application uh, and you know they can use it as your college project or uh, you guys can use it as your school project and then you know you can uh, learn Django very easily through these kind of basic applications. At least you will get to know about how Django works and how you can use it for developing a very very strong backend. Right. Now if you click here on about team it will show you uh, another page which uh, has images of all the people who have contributed in the project and you want to check out the details of these developers so you can hit this more team details option and it will take you to this page now what you, what exactly you have to do for setting up the application on your device i'm going to tell you that now so i have shared a link in the description section of the video which when you will click, it will take you to uh, the Git repo, right? And from here, you can download the project in the form of a zip file, then unzip the folder. And this is what you will get finally after unzipping the zip file, which you will download from the link I have put in the description section. Right, so these are the various folders which you will get to see inside the movie tickets booking website. Okay, and here you have to open it in VS code like this. Now the first thing you have to do is you need to set up the tables that the developers have defined for the application. So what is the way uh, you can do it? Uh, you can type the command python manage.py migrate so it will create for you all the tables right and once you're done with creating the tables you can do make migrations right so these are the two commands which you need to fire right once you are done with uh, you know executing both the commands you can create a super user through which you can log in into the application. So this is, uh, you know, this is the command with which uh, you can do it. So when you will execute the command, the first option terminal will ask you to uh, 
you know pass the value for is username so for now i am passing a random username let's make it move okay more email address i would like to leave it blank so password let's say movie123 and here i can pass y and then okay so super user has been created successfully let's now run the application and this is the command for running a django application as you guys know very well and now my application is up on 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 so here as you can see the application is up all these links are working fine right and uh, upcoming movies we have some different data over here now from where is the data coming as i've told you earlier it's coming from the uh, back end it's coming from the database so by default uh, with django sqlite 3 is the database which comes right now how to access it you can simply write admin just after uh, the you know url which command prompt gives you and here you can type the credentials of super user so movie and then movie one two three so i have successfully logged in to the admin portal and here you can see we have three different tables so the first one is movies to us so here uh, you can see there is an image then uh, there is a date duration of the film is there type of the film language rating so uh, everything you s which you see here on the front end you know it's coming from this table similarly we have another table with name movies right in which again we have some you know data right so uh, this table i think it's for the uh, one of these tables is for the upcoming films and this one is for the one which you see on the home page right for the home page then we have rex right so here also we have some data so the people who have booked the ticket and the film for which they have booked the ticket all the information can be found by the admin in this particular table so this is uh, how the application works and this is uh, the entire process of setting up the application on your local machine now if you have any queries any doubts you can uh, you know put it in the description section i will be happy to help you besides that you know if you want to learn python that too free of cost you can take my classes so you can whatsapp me uh, your query or you can simply whatsapp me a small message i'll add you to the whatsapp group of mine and then you can start interacting with me in my live classes so what i do is i take classes on google meet and you will also be getting the google meet link through which you can join my meetings and you can interact with me you can learn python from me and you know you can get all your queries sorted out right so i want you guys to just help me out in uh, you know expanding this class expanding these classes of mine and you know i would i want i really want to teach uh, number of students right and that too free of cost i'm not going to charge anything from them it's just that i want everyone to you know become a good a very very good coder so that we all together can develop something big one day right i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture thank you very much uh, for being there with me bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys